I just dirt is still a funny. I did thought a funny. Anyhow, um, hello, Arc Matter here. Um, the trio is back. The ten point one is back. Uh, I know. I said I wasn't gonna do another video about the trio, but I'm trying to help with everybody that's having a problem with the trio. I think. I think. I'm not, please don't quote me on this or scream at me, but, um, I think I got the A1, A, the A9 dual core freeze thing, I think I got it figured out. Like I like to say, I should say this right, right now, I'm not an Android expert, I just like this stuff because it's cool, it's neat, it's a gadget thing. I'll do my best to help out with the stuff. I really do. Well, anyhow, here it is. It's booting up. And there it is. The Trio 10.1. But it, well, I have had it back in the videos anyhow because I've been doing game reviews on Wednesdays. And so I've been putting my games on my Trios to help you out. Well, anyhow, this episode of Art Matter, which I have done a while, my York Peppermint Patties. And this is a king size one. <laughs> well, anyhow, Onto the problem. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it down right here so I can talk about it. All right. First things first, that I figured out uh, of the whole scheme. I think I've been busy doing a lot of other things, and I've already said that in my videos. I've been trying to make a ROM for the trio. Yes, someone was helping me. They couldn't help me anymore, and they're a coder. I'm not a coder, so I lost my help on that. But I'm still trying to find ways to make the trio better without the help but eventually we'll get there in the meantime I left it set for a while and guess what it did the same thing that everybody else was complaining about it was stuck on the A9 dual core screen for like a freaking week well anyhow I kept playing around with it to try to figure out how can I get it off the A9 dual core free screen. Now, quite a few people have just sent me comments over the last week saying, hey, thanks a lot. You fixed my tablet. Thanks, man. You're a cool dude. You fixed my tablet. Great. I'm glad. Because I already did a video on the recovery. And I also noticed a couple, maybe about three months ago, uh, Mock Speed, they have a YouTube channel now. Uh, I wonder why. Hmm, let me think. Because of me? I don't know. Well, anyhow, uh, they have a video, too, on there explaining recovery. All right. Now, back to what I was explaining a minute ago. Do not try to charge the Trio by USB. It's not going to happen. It will not recover from charging it on USB. It won't. I've tried. I tried for a whole week. It didn't work. Or actually longer than a week. I think it was like a week and a half. I don't know. But it was a long time. It was a long time for me in my Arc Matter space of time and space, I guess. Well, anyhow, I thought, well, let me get my AC charger out. Because when you first open the trio, like you see me do in my first video, you're supposed to charge it for like eight hours before you even turn it on. But I always turn my own, the videos on on my openings because I want to see the tablets boot up to see what the the logo screens or something look like. But then I turn it off after I'm done with the video and I go charge it for the rest of the night. Um, so anyhow, I got my charger. Shut up. I got my charger and I charged it all night. So when I went to turn the tablet on the next day it still didn't work but when I checked it as far as USB to AC on the screen 
it said I had a full charge. When I was trying to charge it by USB, it was only showing one bar. But when I charged it by AC and it said the full screen, it had a full charge. So, what I did was what I've showed in my other recovery video. Okay. I turned the tablet off. Which I'm going to just do this. I know my tablet's already on, but I'm going to shut it off and I'm going to show how I did it. One more time. Alright. Hold the power button here. Hold the down button. Power, down button. Let go of the, bu of the button for the power, then a second or two, let go of the volume button down. Now it should go into recovery. It should. Okay. There it is. You saw me do it. Power. Holding it down. Volume over here on this side, holding it down. Same time. Holding it down. Let go of the power. Hold the other button down on the volume for just a second or two longer. Then release. Now, you can see here I have my selections. You want to go to wipe data factory reset wipe data factory reset go there now another thing you want to do make sure you have your google stuff backed up for your tablet either you put your games that you like or what pictures you like on the sd take your sd card out take your sd card out okay once it's out then you can go to this factory reset boom it should come up. You'll have to resync your Google account. You'll have to sign back into Google in order to sync your tablet back to all your apps and everything else. It takes a few minutes. It takes a little bit of time, but with the patience, you'll get it. The trio. You have to have a lot of patience with this sucker. You do. Is it the greatest tablet in the world? No, it's not. But I've never said that in my video. It's a good tablet, especially for what I do, because I mod, I flash, if I screw this up and I only paid $99 for it, who cares? If I paid $399 for a Samsung tablet or whatever, I'm out. There's a lot of people on here who really know how to do this stuff on with their videos and how-tos. They're great at it. Watch one of their videos because they, they can do it. I'm a simple modder. I mean, I just do the simple stuff. But that's good for me because I can still change the way the tablets do. I could tweak them up. I could still do a lot for the small things that I do know. But I'll do anything I can to help you get the tablet going. Oh, anyhow. So, once you've done that and it's on this screen, you know you've made it here. The tablet's okay. It's going to come back on. If you can get to this recovery screen, the A9 dual core thing will go away. Just make sure that you do the wipe data factory reset. You're going to go down to it. Okay. You're going to select it. Okay. You see all these selections here? No, 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 no. No. I think, yes, yes, delete all user data. Delete it. Go there, pick it. You'll toggle down to it. Well, I'm not going to pick it now because I just reset all my stuff. But you're going to pick that. You're going to hit the power button. Hit the power button. Okay. It's going to reboot. It's going to come back up. It's going to come right back up. It's going to go right back, right back up to this other screen. So, uh That, that's all you do. It'll ask you to reboot and, uh, you know, see? When you hit one of the no buttons, it's going to take you back up to the same screen. And then you're just going to hit the power button again to reboot it. I'm going to set it back down here. There you go. And look, here it comes. It's coming, it's, it's booting back up. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure that's what the problem is. Um, I've seen some of this. I've seen this similar similar situation happen to the playbooks, uh, the BlackBerry playbooks. I'm, I'm not going to say I figured it out completely. Maybe I have. I mean, that's why I said I hope. Uh, but it has something to do. With, there's not enough juice for the bootloader to kick over to bring you back. 
but I was stuck on the A right here. I was stuck on this screen, the A9 dual core screen, for like almost two weeks. I thought, oh no, I'm just like everybody else. Uh, it's happened. Wow, there it is. It booted back up. When it didn't, wouldn't do any. I tried every single thing I could imagine, and I messed around with. Well, I've have I've had like 15, 20 tablets now, and I've always got all my tablets to come back up or recover. This one I could not, and I was I was very frustrated. I'm like, oh no, it happened to me, and I, I ain't gonna have. You know what? It happened to me. It's just like everybody else. But I did that. I did not charge. Do not charge by USB. Don't try to charge it by USB. Get your AC adapter out. Leave it charge overnight. Power it back on, get into the recovery, do what I just said. It should come back up. This is what I did. It worked for me. I was stuck, but it worked. Well, anyhow, on to the next thing I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, in my findings of doing different things with the Trio, I found an app that, and this is still rooted. By the way, when I did the recovery thing, it's still rooted. But you can root your uh, tablet pretty easy through one of my videos that shows you the... Um, uh, root tool to get to but uh, it's right here right here it's the it's the extreme I think it's like, oh, okay, I will put my, it's the exposed app you can go find it on Google just Google exposed X P O S E D exposed I, I if I can post a link to it I will uh, I, I for somehow I, I didn't mark bookmark it but this is this thing is cool it's got framework a free exposed framework and you can load different modules into it now I've only done a few things with it so more so far but I download it uh, oh, I have an update uh, part of the thing I downloaded was one of the modules was uh, so I could get every game on every every app sorry every app on Google there it is um, X P O S E D exposed installer Google it find it if your tablets I think, I think it might be able to go on even if it's rooted but I can't remember what it said but I did a lot of reading on the XDA and some other stuff and somebody found this and it works cool I mean there's all kinds of different modules after you load the framework and download the actual uh, app to put it in it's cool um, you can change quite a bit on the tablet itself so yeah I hope this really helps and I hope I went slow enough to explain what I did but this app right here cool app I like it a lot because since I haven't been able to figure out a ROM, it ex exposes the framework inside on the actual program for the, you know, uh, Android software, and you can change the tablet. Um, I haven't explored all this I'm going to do, but there was like, I think like 79, 80 different modules that you could use to change the tablet. And I haven't explored all of them yet because I wanted to get it on the video and, and I haven't had time to play around with a lot. But anyhow, here's that. So the very last thing I want to do is do a little shout out to um, Damn It Josh Studios. Um, subscribe to me and I watch his videos and I was like, just wanted to see, you know, I like some of your vloggers are cool. Uh, you know, I try to do a variety, I try to collect a vi of different volume of people on my subscription list because... Uh, this is stuff that I like, but I mean, I'm a kind of like a eclectic. I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Eclectic guy. There we go. Eclectic guy. I like a lot of different things. But he put on two of these albums, his favorite albums. That one was the Cars, and one was the Beatles White Album. And I was like, whoa, we like read my mind because I was like, same time he was. But anyhow, uh, damn it, Josh Studios. Good luck to you. I hope you do well with your vlogging. Uh, I try to hit everybody up once in a while and say hi to them or whatever. Uh, I, p I pay it forward. If someone subscribes to me, I look at their videos, and I, I'm sorry, I do judge a little bit to see if, you know, if it, uh, you know, you know, how far the vlogging goes or whatever, because I like gaming, so I got Matt, I like gaming, I got Weasel, uh, I like the video vlogging, so I got, this is not Marissa, I got uh, Elijah Dolphin Phobia, and some cool tech because I love Android stuff, some Fusa, he's got games. Because I'm trying to create a variety because these are things I like too. That's why I got a little bit of geekiness in my title for my new banner. Yes, I have a new banner. Check it out. I like it a lot. I worked like all night. Well, anyhow, this is Arc Matter. This is hopefully a really helpful video that I could get on after I had problems with A9 dual core freeze up 
and me blogging a little bit. Um, I think I covered everything that I wanted to, but it has something to do with the bootloader because um, they call it stacking when you could stack the charge back in, but you'd have to do the stacking. You'd have to put the USB plug in and out, in and out, in and out to get the right stack to flip the bootloader over. I'm pretty sure, maybe. I'm hoping that's what it is. But I, I did the combo. No USB charging. I had no USB charging. I charged it by AC all night. Uh, it was still froze on that, but I turned the power off, and then I did the recovery. It came up for recovery, wiped all the data, the factory brought it back up, still rooted, Put all my stuff back in through Google, resynced it through my app. My app stuff and everything is all back up. you just seen it. So this is Arc Matter. Um, please like, please subscribe, and I hope this video really helps. See you Wednesday.